Good morning. It's been 10 years since William Tyrrell vanished and an inquest into the toddler's disappearance is about to hear fresh evidence. On September 12, 2014, the three-year-old went missing while playing at his foster grandmother's house in Kendall. The inquest into William's disappearance began in March 2019 but was adjourned in October 2020. Harriet Graham, Deputy State Coroner, will resume her inquest today and it'll run through to Friday. The $1 million reward for information still stands and no one's been charged. In the lead-up to next year's election, the federal Labor government has announced plans to slash student debt by 20%. In addition, it plans to raise the minimum salary an individual needs to earn to start making repayments. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese announced the measures over the weekend. The proposal includes government loans for uni, TAFE and apprenticeships. The government says it'll introduce reforms to student debt schemes if it's re-elected in May. Good morning, Tilly Andrew with a Win News update. Pill testing will go ahead at schoolies on the Gold Coast despite the new Queensland government vowing to scrap it. A statement from Health Minister Tim Nichols' office reiterated their position there is no safe way to take drugs and pill testing sends the wrong message. However, the minister's office also says it's too late to cancel the contract for pill testing, which was signed by the previous government. The controversial Gold Coast Cableway will be voted on by Council next month. It comes after new Queensland Tourism Minister Andrew Powell met with Mayor Tom Tate yesterday. Minister Powell, whose portfolio includes the environment, committed to cutting through red and green tape around the Cableway project. However, a cruise terminal for the city is not on his radar. And Gold Coast Titan AJ Brimson will face the NRL today over a betting furor. He posted a screenshot which appeared to show an old bet on an NRL game alongside a Melbourne Cup bet, but reportedly says it was from a family member's account. Taking a quick look at the local forecast today, partly cloudy 31 as we head inland, a windy morning for Byron getting to 27 degrees, nice and sunny as we get toward the Gold Coast, 29 degrees for your Wednesday. We'll have more news next hour. Good afternoon. Police have launched a fresh appeal for information over a suspicious death near Kyogle three years ago. Paramedics attended a Collins Creek property in October 2021 following reports a man had collapsed, but they were unable to revive him. A report was prepared for the coroner, but the coronial inquiry was suspended and the matter has since been referred to the DPP. Police searched the property last week and are urging anyone with information to contact casino detectives or Crime Stoppers. New Queensland Premier David Crisofoli says kickstarting tourism is so important he had to give up the portfolio. The Gold Coast MP made the surprise move of taking veterans in his first cabinet with tourism handed to the Sunshine Coast's Andrew Powell. Premier Crisofoli says the full attention of a minister is needed to kickstart tourism and capitalise on the state's natural assets. Former Destination Gold Coast boss Trish O'Callaghan has been appointed Director General of Tourism. The Gold Coast's Elvis Smiley has finished fifth in the Queensland PGA Championship at four shots off the pace. Fellow Coast golfer Billy Dowling was joint leader after round one, but ended up tied for ninth after overpar rounds on Saturday and Sunday. And the Gold Coast Suns have finished their AFLW season with a 63-point loss to the North Melbourne Kangaroos. It was always going to be a tough ask playing away against the would-be minor premiers who remain undefeated going into the finals. The Suns end the season in 17th position on the table. Taking a quick look at the local weather now, 29 degrees and partly cloudy for the rest of your Monday. Be sure to stay with us. We'll be back with more local news at one o'clock. We'll see you then.